So this morning, I'm up at Norbrook in Colebrook again, uh, testing out all the upgrades I've made to my bike, the new front fork, and my new tires that are running tubeless now. Knee pads. Nobody likes to walk with a limp. So let's go unload the bike and uh, get it tested and see how everything's working. Over, maybe we'll do this warm up loop first. So, and then we'll take traverse. So, let's ride back to the brewery and then we'll cut across. Steep Endurance Norbrook Farm Brewery Trail Festival. Well, this might be fun. We have to come up for that, July 23rd. The warm-up lap first. Ooh. I gotta take these sunglasses off. I'm having a hard time distinguishing. <laughs> the trail. <laughs> Hear my chain slapping. Get the clutches off of my derailleur. There we go. I feel like I'm going in the wrong direction. Those roots right there went right into my rim. That front fork is a lot smoother than it was. Those are fun. These new tires have a lot more grip. I'm not slipping off the side of rocks anymore. Yeah. 
and we're out. Rest in the shade. I think we'll take third sessions down, take Sherpa back up. We'll come back out here and we'll head back to the truck and go home and get some work done. Look like a red shoulder hawk. Pretty cool. All right, we're at the top of dirt sessions. And uh, sweating bullets from the climb over here. It is definitely hot today. It's in the 80s, humidity is ridiculous. I think it's supposed to be thunderstorms in a little while. But uh, let's get into it. Tires are cornering nice. Let's go up and over. Oop, there's a big drop on there. That was good. Definitely straight out of breath. The heart, she's pounding. I would say I was faster with the new tires and the better fork. The tires had way more grip than I was expecting. And I wasn't fully trusting them because of the last tires where they would roll out on the corners on me. But uh, once these got up on the sides, they just bit in and held. And uh, these are in the Minion DHR2s on the front. And on the back, I have the Minion GHF. And the uh, front fork is the Recon. I think I have a uh, install, like a short of that. I'm gonna get a drink of water and then we'll head up Sherpa. This is a pleasant ride. I wasn't tired, sweating to death. And uh, it's a little thing of it being all uphill. I think next time I come up here, I'm gonna take this on a downhill. It looks like it'd be fun. place to stop. That was a good little ride. I'm still the only one here on these trails on a Tuesday. Perfect. Overall, the upgrades to the bike are good. Dropper post, I, I think if you're gonna be any kind of downhill, you definitely need it. Air fork, I, I like the suppressed rebound and I have the pressure up pretty high because I carry a lot of weight up top. I think the pressure's at about 100. 
it seems to be good not too spongy when I come down on it and the tires that I would say was the biggest difference I noticed I think those three upgrades make a bike this bike already has hydraulic brakes already has a 1x10 drivetrain I'm not out riding the gearing or the brakes at this point so these three things is what this bike needed oh god it's hot in here oh man look at the sweat I feel like a wimp but it is pretty hot though Oh God, AC is amazing. Oh, can't stand the heat. Such a wimp. It's pretty sad when you spend your whole summer waiting for fall. One more sip. All right guys, for real. See you later.